Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me back here on my channel. So today we are talking some beauty products and specifically nudes. Not those type of nudes, some nude lipsticks. Some of my favorite nude lipsticks and some of my favorite lip liners and then also some of my favorite lip glosses um, that I kind of have um, in my purse constantly. I was going through um, my purse that I carry, this purse right here, which is, you know, not too big, and I was going through it the other day, and um, I posted this on my Insta stories, and I'll play the video for you, but I was kind of cleaning out, and I found all of my <laughs> new lipsticks. It was very unnecessary to have that many lip products in um, that tiny little purse. So random, I was looking for something in my purse. And, okay, first of all, I don't keep a lot in this purse. It's a pretty small purse. And who needs... Oh, one, two, three, four, five, five different liners plus um I know there is like and lip lipsticks like this is how many like why do I need this many items so I've been wanting to do my favorite lipsticks and combinations and lip glosses for a while so I'm finally sitting down and filming this for you guys so I can give you guys the 411 on my favorite products. I picked about five um, lipsticks, but then I have about three um, that I want to mention. They are not in stock anymore, unfortunately, but they. But if you do have them, well, you're lucky that you do because they're good ones. If you can find them on the, the beauty black market, um, try to find them because um, you can't find them anymore because they're out of stock. So, all right, here we go. Let's talk about one of my favorite lipsticks, and it's going to be, it's a recent one. I think I got it a couple of months ago, and it is uh, by KKW Beauty. It is this gorgeous nude. Um, it is in Nude 3. Let me tell you, she does nudes perfectly. I mean, whether you like the Kardashians or you don't, or you don't like, if you, whatever, but she has some really good products. She knows, like, how to do it right. I fell in love. Um, actually, one of my favorite palettes is by her. It's the Classic Palette. Um, so I scooped this one up. I thought it fit better for my skin tone. I'm a medium skin tone pretty much all year round. Get a little dark in the summer, of course, um, with like an olivey golden undertone. So the number three really just fit me well, um, in my opinion. But she has some great nudes from, you know, of course, light to dark. So check it out. And I will do a little swatch for you guys. And it's more on the brown tone, I feel. But there is a little bit of pink. But it's really, really beautiful, if you can see it. I'm not very good at, like, these swatches, so I'll probably have to redo them. All right, so there's that one. All right, my second favorite one. It is by NARS, and it is part of their Audacious line. And this is the color Raquel. I have a few of their Audacious um, lipsticks, but this is one of my favorite um, ones. Obviously, you can tell um, I'm getting pretty, pretty low um, on this one. And let me do a little swatch for this one. This is more on the pinkier side. You're going to see it right next to the KKW. It's definitely of a pinkier nude versus a warmer nude. There's all type of nudes, people. Um, but I love this lipstick. I love the way it sits on my lips. It's creamy. It feels hydrating on my lipsticks. And um, I believe this is the one I'm wearing today. Um, I mix them all. I'm going to try doing, um, putting them on my lips and showcasing them maybe on the side so that you guys can see what they look on the lips too, on my skin tone as well. All right, third one. I need a new one of these, and I can't believe I'm going to show this on camera. But this is by Tarte Beauty, and it's the color Beach Babe. Like, look at that. It's time for a new one. I, I'm about to order some stuff on Tarte. And, but this one is also um, a really beautiful color. It's called Beach Babe. This one's more of a, more of your nude. It's not as pink, um, and it's not as warm as KKW. And you can see that right next to those other two. This is, these are also really creamy. I also have a whole bunch of these um, Tarte uh, lipsticks um, as well in different colors. And they're really, really, really beautiful on the lips. 
next one is by Morphe. It is called Wifey. This one's a matte, but it's not like a hard matte. It's really beautiful as well. And it's a little bit more, has a cool warm tone to it. You'll see it right next to the Tarte one. It's definitely a little bit warmer than the Tarte, but definitely not as pink as um, the Raquel one from NARS. But you'll see it. Another really beautiful nude. You know, you're always searching for that perfect nude. I'm telling you, no matter if you think you found it, you're still looking for it. And if you are a girl, you know, I'm telling you, you're always looking for it. So this one is considered a matte but I don't think it is. It's like a creamy matte, and I love it. It's not drying or anything on your lips. It's a really, really beautiful color um, as well. My last one of the bunch, it is by MAC, and it is called Honey Love, and I believe this is another matte as well, but I also don't think that it's very drying on your lips, and this one is very close to wifey. It's a little bit darker, so you'll see. So out of all of these, you can tell that the NARS one is more um, of a pinkier color than all of them, but they kind of have the same similar touch. I love them all. I use them all. You can tell um, through all of these. So those are my favorite top five lipsticks. Now I'm going to show you a few other ones that are actually discontinued, and I'm so sad about it, um, but if you have them, you're lucky that you do. All right, first one, Dose of Colors. Uh, this was the collab with Katie and Desi. And this is the color No Shade. Love it. This one's definitely a little bit drier out of all of them. And you have to put like a little bit of like, I don't know, a gloss on it. Because it will kind of like get a little patchy on your lips. But it is a beautiful color. Um, you know, definitely more of a nude than some of the other ones. Another favorite of mine that is discontinued. And look. So short. This is by Bite Beauty, and this one is called Meringue. I don't know why my lipsticks either have flat tops or they're curved. Don't know why. But this one is actually is right underneath, um, very similar to the NARS one. So you can see, which is good. So now there's a dupe. So if you, can, if you don't have this one, you can get the NARS one. Next. Where is it? It's not here. Hold on. My last one. All right. The last one, and it's one of my favorites. This is like my second one, and of course, it's no longer in stock. This is by Stila, and it's called Olivia. This was probably one of my first new lipsticks ever. I'm telling you, it was. I think I, my first one. Uh, it's so creamy and beautiful. Look at those. All those nudes together. So, whether you like pink or warm, I mean, there's a little bit of everything. I don't, I like to change it up depending on what I'm wearing. Eyeshadow, you know, dress, um, what am I feeling that day, but... And also, it has like a peppermint smell. It smells so good. So, those are the three extra ones that if you do have, you're lucky that you have them because they're out of stock. And I cannot believe it when I was going through my notes and stuff and researching. Um, well, I found out they're no longer in stock. I kind of knew the Dose of Colors probably wouldn't be in stock anymore. So, all right. Let's move on to lip liners. Here are some of my favorite lip liners that are constantly on rotation. First one, which I'm wearing today, it is by Buxom and it is called Hush Hush. It's definitely a darker look, but I love um, this color. It's one of my favorites that I do have. Second, this is new to me as well. I got it a couple of months ago. Oops, the only thing is it kind of slips down and I, oh, I bet, you know, what do you do? This is more of a warm brown tone for sure, real nude. And this one's nude uh, 1.5. So if you really want to contour, you can really contour your lips with this color. Creamy, beautiful. I love it. All right, next one. It is Nice and Spicy by MAC, which is probably a cult favorite. And definitely getting pretty low on this one. These are a little bit more drying, but I still like it. Um, I still like the color a lot. Um, not as, um, it's got more of like a mauve or kind of, I guess, color, more warmer. It's not as cool tone as the KKW one. Next is also a really uh, favorite cult of mine. This is by Milani. Pretty sure it's called Nude. Yeah, I can't tell. Is it, wait, is it Milani? I can't tell. Yeah, it is Milani. This one, 
is definitely a great, it kind of is similar to the Hush Hush one of Buxom, but also really creamy, beautiful. Next one, it's going to be more, this one's by Morphe, and it came, it's called Backseat Love. This one, no it's not, it's definitely, it's more of a pinkier nude, I guess you could say. Really pretty as well to match with some of your pinkier nudes if you want. And I love this um, lip pencil. It's really nice and creamy. I am going to mention this other one too by NYX. It's called Nutmeg. So if you're also looking for a darker um, one, here's another good like you know one to contour your your lips. Keep looking down because these these girls are out of control today. So those are some of my favorite nude lip liners right there. And you can really mix and match a lot of these. I do it all the time. I don't really have a specific go-to. I was going to do that, but I kind of mix them all the time. Uh, I try to mentally put them in my head or I'll try to put them on my phone, like what I mixed that day. Um, I forget. But these are the ones that are constantly in rotation. I'm back. <laughs> my camera died and didn't get the lip glosses. So um, I'm going to go through and refilm this. First lip gloss. OG of them all. It is the NYX Butter Gloss. Excuse my nails, you guys, too. Um, and Creme Brulee. I've gone through so many of these. It's ridiculous. But if you know, you know. It's a good one. It's really beautiful. You know, pink, uh, sheer, um, not goopy. Um, it's just, you can wear this on your own. It's just a really beautiful gloss. If you don't have it, you should scoop it up. And I'm pretty sure most of you do have it. All right, my second one is by Wet n Wild. It is called Sin Nudes. This is more of um, a brown tone. Um, definitely more on the warmer side or cooler side. I'm sorry. I guess it would be because it is definitely um, darker than the rest. Love it. Not that goopy. It gives you a nice little um, color on your lips. Um, I wear this one. Um, a lot with, um, oh gosh, which one is it? I wear it with the KKW a lot. So, all right. My next one, it is by Maybelline, and it is part of their Vivid um, Hot Lacquer and Color Charmer. This one is a little goopy, I'm going to say, um, but it's still really beautiful and really beautiful on its own if you just throw this on. And it, it looks really dark when I'm swatching it, but when you put it on your lips, it's actually really not that dark at all. So love this one. Also a favorite that people have talked about it constantly. It is by Fenty Beauty called Fussy. It is good. It's beautiful. Also another good one on its own or you can throw it over any um, nude lip and it has like a, a little bit of shimmer to it. And it's just it's really beautiful. I love this color a lot. Next is by Dior and it's just a, I guess it's just a really a sheer, uh, you know, with a little bit of sparkle, sort of like fussy. But you really can't see it all that much on my hands, but also a really beautiful one. Alright you guys, that is it. Um, of all my favorite nude products, uh, lipsticks, liners, and glosses, uh, things that I'm constantly wearing on rotation. I love them all. I'm constantly looking for that perfect nude lipstick. So if you have a suggestion, um, please leave it down in the comments below because I would love um, to hear it. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.